send me a sign Cause I'm about to lose my mind I've lost faith in that kind Deserved by it by design A lot of people are really critical of the music that I'm making right now. They're critical of my EP, To Whom It May Concern. They're either critical of my next one, Biased by Design. Uh, a lot of people in the rock scene don't like what I'm saying. Um, they don't like what I'm speaking on because it, you know, it's controversial. You know, people say, well, why are you not writing things that are like really happy and fun? But I'm writing exactly what I'm seeing happen around me, around the world, or to my friends, my family. I'm writing on what I'm seeing. So if you want my music to change, then all you have to do is change. Allow the world to change and be what it's supposed to be, which is equal for all people in all walks of life, all cultures, and all creeds. And until then, it's just going to keep being, um, you know, my music is going to be very controversial until I see change that I want to see in the world. That's what music is for. The rock scene has grown soft over the last two decades because I cannot believe that a rock scene that gave you System of a Down and Rage Against the Machine and a bunch of other political bands, you know, Green Day and bands like that are now telling you, well, those bands are just fake and they're, un they're uninformed. I can't believe that. And, you know, I want to bring punk rock back to what it used to be. I want to bring rock music back to what it used to be. And that's my goal on my EPs. That's my goal on To Whom It May Concern. That's my goal on Bias by Design. Uh, people said that, you know, uh, they didn't like the way my voice sounded on my EPs. They didn't like the way I, was, you know, mix things. They don't like the way I do all this stuff. And that's fine with me. But we've gotten, we've become a culture of instant gratification. We've become a culture where we're more worried about how something sounds rather than the message that we're giving. And, you know, if you're coming here looking for a, a mix produced by a Grammy Award winning producer, this is not the EP for you. This EP is as raw as I could possibly make it. And it was made from home. You see my interest back here. Um, it was made from home and I made it you know, as raw as I could and as honest as I could. And that's what punk rock is about for me. It's, it's about being honest. And if somebody can't be honest with what's going on around them, then are they really punk? Are they really rock? Are they really anything? You know, there's too many people that are too soft in the rock scene right now all over the all over Tennessee. Tennessee, uh, for me, has been very um, heartbreaking this year just because there's a lot of rock artists around. And I even played with some of these rock artists because I was in a band with some of these rock artists when I came into the scene in 2014. There's a lot of uh, people that do not want to speak on politics because they're scared they're going to offend people. I don't give a damn about offending people. I'm going to offend people the way ever I want, however I want. And if I'm offending you by telling you the truth, then you need to open your eyes and you need to look in the mirror and realize that you are the one that is causing all the disturbance in the world right now. So, you know, I don't like to think of myself as a vocalist. I like to think of myself as a storyteller. I'm telling you a story and I want you to listen.